It would be fun if I had two people named Mario and Monte uh, to be guests on my show. And, uh, oh, wait, I can see two people right now in the green room. And no, no, Named no. Mario and Monte. How weird is that? That I just said that, hey, you guys, oh. you want to be my next guest? Yes! Oh, my God! All right. Are you serious? Well, come on out. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh. I can do this! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wow. Oh my God. Oh. Surprise. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. All right, first of all, surprise. Um, <laughs> thank you both for your service. Oh, thank thank you so much. I want to say that first. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, my all right. I know a lot about you, but these people do not. They're meeting you for the first time. Tell everybody what you do for work. Oh my goodness, yes, um, I'm a uh, vocalist for the United States Air Force Heartland of America Band, stationed out in Offutt uh, Air Force Base in Omaha, Nebraska. All yes. right. <laughs> yes, and I am a medical retiree from the Army, did serve almost four years. I currently work for the Army Corps of Engineers. I'm a full-time graduate student, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so who's Mario and who's Monty? I'm Mario, oh, Monty. Monty. together we're Eminem. All right, yes. so uh, Eminem, right. Yes. So Mario, you wrote into the show, Yes, and uh, why, why did you do that? First of all, Ellen, you are, <laughs> this is so crazy. You have inspired me in so oh many, gosh. so many ways because of just everything uh, in the religious stuff and everything I've been through. You have been an absolute inspiration to me Absolutely. and so many other people. And, yeah. and just with that, I, I wanted the world to know about my husband because Everything that he does in his life, his personality, his cat, that's why I love uh, <laughs> he's, just, he's just an amazing person. I, I just want you, everybody, whoever I could get out there to just to get to know him. I had no idea. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, he doesn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's why you're here, because of Mario. So, so you met at church, is that right? Yes, ma'am. I was um, I was a director of music at a church in Colorado mm -hmm. Springs, and he was the tenor section leader, yeah. and then the praise team worship leader as well. And yeah, Sorry. yeah. So the church finds out about you. We well, couldn't let the church know that you were together. Absolutely. You had to hide that, mm -hmm. and then the church found out that you were together. Mm -hmm. Right. And what happened when they found out? They gave me an an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. um, you have to either you get counseling. Um, see therapy, uh, or get an annulment for your mm -hmm. marriage. And, um, yeah. And I was not okay with that. I said, w <laughs> no, I don't care what we got to do. If, we gotta, if I got to work three jobs to pay for it, you know. I mean, because we had to have some stability. Right. So I was like, I don't care what we have to do. If I have to work three jobs and still go to school, whatever we got to do, we need to be able to be free to be able to be ourselves. Yeah. And so. I still need a job at the time, yeah. too. And I, yeah. That's, it's amazing, yeah. and now you don't have to keep a secret anymore. Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you joined? Yeah, joined the, joined the Air Force. Um, and then, oh, we went on vacations. Yeah. Uh, we finally go on vacations. Finally be able to post stuff yeah. on social media. Um, what else? I mean, the first five years, it was like, we, we, we had, I mean, we have no history of public history because we've no. never taken pictures. We've never gone on vacation. Mm. We never did anything in public there. We lived this, you know, private life for five years, and it was so dark. And we we're like, <laughs> I mean, it was so depressive. And I'm like, we're happy, but we can't even share the world. We're happy, yeah. and which is kind of where we come in with you. Like we watch your show all, like almost every day, and I'm like, yeah, we see people like Ellen who can just be herself, her and Portia, and just live their lives. And I want that, and we want that, mm -hmm. and we didn't get to have it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and uh, once he got his opportunity to join the the military, it was like. Let's go. See you yeah. later. Let's, let's, we, we, we deserve this freedom. You do, every, everyone deserves the freedom. Everyone deserves to have someone to love and to share with and have photos and yeah, go on vacations. And it's, you know, it's, um, that's, that's a shame the church did that because there are a lot of churches that don't do that. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame they did that. Um, we, uh, you're not going anywhere. You're sticking around. We're going to take a break and okay. we'll talk more after this, all right? Okay. <laughs> we'll be back.
Oh, I love you guys so much. We're back with Mario and Monty. And uh, now you're looking to have a baby. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Yes. So you've taken multiple jobs on. Yes. Try to, because it's expensive to try to have a baby. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us what your process is. What are you doing? Oh, wow. So um, obviously, I, I work a full-time job. I'm a full-time graduate student. Once I'm done with that, I find squeeze time in there. And I'm, I'm baking cakes for a lot of the military spouses. Mm. Anyone that's nearby. I'm a um, test tester, by the way. Yes, yeah, so surprise, he's not fat, you know. <laughs> I took on all the weight. But um, uh, yeah, so we're just, I mean, any hustle we can go, we go live on Facebook sometimes to kind of let our friends donate to our platform. I teach people how to cook. I mean, I've just been kind of taking on everything because my mother always taught me, like, if you want something hard, you work hard for it. And I've right. done that since the age of 13. So um, I'm just, we're just kind of like doing some side gigs and. And right now we have a, a GoFundMe page out. Yeah. Uh, we raised about a little about over five thousand dollars or yeah, so. Yeah. Our All goal right. is twenty twenty. You're, you're here on such. A, it's so weird that you're here today because uh, we're playing a brand new game, and the game is called "Can Soon to Be New Parents." Mario and Monte guess the price of these baby items in fifteen Wait. seconds. Oh my that's god. That's the game, oh, and y'all are here. Let's play. All right. We have a crib. We have baby diapers. We have baby clothes and a stroller. Okay. And you have fifteen seconds to grab the price tags. Place them on the item you think that it's worth. If you okay. get them all right, you're going to be going home with everything. Okay. All right? Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. You have 15 seconds. Go. Okay. So 90 for the Panthers. 400. Yes. Uh, the seat. I want to go here. 400 for this. Yes. And 100 for. Let's put it on the seat. Yeah. So no, this here. Close. For close. And 400 for this. Yes. Oh, look, look at it. 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 I think that's good. good. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Let's I'm, see. I'm very confused myself if that's, that's correct. I don't know. I think. Why is $400? No, you got zero, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Geez. Yeah. Well, I think, I think if you switch the diapers and the, and the clothing, switch that out. Okay. Okay. Diapers I'm just guessing. This. And then All right. And switch the stroller and the. I'll trade you. Yeah. Okay. Good work. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. No. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. You got them all right. So you're going home with all of the baby items. There's one more thing. Uh, what's the point of having these baby items if you don't have enough money for a surrogate? So our friends at Shutterfly love creating moments like this. They want to give you $20,000 to start your family. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks for writing in. Oh Y'all are fantastic. And again, thank you for your service. Thanks for everything thank you, you do. So, oh we'll be my right God. back. Thank you, Ellen.